Hey, Shalom, Markins. This is Rakama Kapash from GMS Learning. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Hadash. I want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the hopeful well, let's push the truth in all sincerity. Uh, back again with another video. I'm going to entitle this one All Things Have Been Made Subject Unto Him. Right? Because um, not only is it important to know, you know the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, which is Yahweh, which is the name of the Father, and the name of the Son is, is his name is Yahweh Shai, right? We, we have to understand, you know, the, the, the rank and hierarchy of things also, right? Because you, we understand that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is the Most High, right? That is the title, that is, you know, one of his many titles, right? He is the Most High, he is the, the top being in existence, okay? His name means he, he is, okay? Um... And, he, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, which, which means he deliverer, right? And the Most I have given Yahweh Shai a, a special position in in the in the in the universe, right? In existence, right? That there is there is none second uh, to him, right? Yahweh Shai has been given the, the, the great power underneath the Most High over all all things, all creation. Right and in in of itself, you know, is worthy of worship and praise, right? Because that's the Most High Son. The Most High, the Most High set His Son up to be worshipped and to be praised, okay, among creation, right? So for those guys out there that don't believe in, you know, uh, you know, we shouldn't be worshiping Yahweh Shai, and that we should be only be worshiping the Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, right? That's simply not what the Most High has set up. At the end of the day, and the Most High, we can't worship the Heavenly Father without Yahweh Shai. Okay, we can't do that. Okay, we've been given over to into the hands of Yahweh Shai. Right, the same way the woman is supposed to worship her man, she can't go directly to the Heavenly Father. Okay, she has to worship her man. Right, we are Yahweh Shai's bride. We are his woman. Right, and we are to. Worship and cherish the son, right? And that is how we're being brought back into the adoption, you know, in, into the family, so to speak, of the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, through the marriage that's that's taking place right now. And so you best believe, man, you better bow and worship your husband, man, because it's scripture, scripture tells you even um, Sarah uh, called Abraham Lord, right? He is our Lord. He is our master, our king, right? And, and the king... He go gets his worship, he gets his praise, right? And that is what the Heavenly Father has set his son up to be, right? to receive, right? To receive glory. That's why he's been set up to be the savior of, of Israel, right? And so we're going to go through the scriptures just to, to show you that, right? All things have been given unto, unto Yahweh Shai so that he may receive his glory. And in turn, the Most High will also receive his glory, because obviously Yahweh Shai is a creation, is the son of the Heavenly Father. Okay, so it all, it all goes back. It all goes back to the Heavenly Father ultimately. Okay, but understand that he's, he's created his son and set up his son to receive great honor. Right? That is worthy of being praised and worshipped. Okay, so we're going to start off here in um, Colossians chapter 1. Uh I'm going to start from verse 12 here, right? It says, giving thanks unto the Father, right? Because all thanks goes back to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, right? Because without the Most High, obviously none of this, uh, no, none of this exists, for one. We don't exist, nothing exists, right? But the fact that the Most High has, uh, sent us a Savior, right? That, this is why we praise the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, because he sent us Yahweh Shai to deliver us, to save us. Right? So giving thanks unto the Father which he have which have made us meet, meet to be partakers of the inheritance of this of the saints in, in light. How we how we become in, uh, inheritors or how can we be partakers of the inheritors? The only way was through Yahweh Shai, because he is the one that obtained you know what we couldn't, right? He was the one that was perfect among us. Right? And Yahweh Shai is sharing that uh, that glory, that uh, that that victory. Okay, that glory with us, man. Okay, you know, begin with the elect. Okay, and that is how we become inheritors. 
for those of us that believe in Yahweh Shai. If you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, man, you, you're not going to inherit this, man. You're not going to get the, the full scope of the blessings that, you know, has been promised to us. Now, those Israelites that are going to come in after us, right, the, the, the two thirds, you know, the, the wicked of our people that are going to be destroyed, they're going to come in and be blessed, of course. But they're not going to be as blessed as the as the elect men that believed upon Yahweh Shai, you know, believed in his son. Okay, had faith in the, in, the, in, the, in the, you know, in his son, right? They're not going to get the full scope, right? Verse 13 says, Who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into, into the kingdom of his dear son, right? This kingdom, this kingdom of heaven, the kingdom, of the, the new kingdom of, of Israel, new Jerusalem, right? Is Yahweh Shai's kingdom. It's his kingdom of his dear son, Yahweh Shai. Right? He is the king and lord over all of it. And we have our place in it because of him. Right? So in whom we have redemption through his blood. Right? Even the forgiveness of, of sins. Okay? Because he became that sacrifice for us, man. That perfect sacrifice. So that we could be uh, forgiven. Right? So who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. Yeah, our Shia looks exactly like his father, man. Right, he comes in his image. He comes in the same mindset. Right, they are one, as 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 Yahweh Shai said. Okay, I and the Father am one. Right, because they they have the same. Um, but basically, what Yahweh Shai is is just a, a carbon copy of the Heavenly Father. When the Most High created, uh, you know, his first creation, he just created like a double of himself, essentially, man. Just on the obviously on the lower tip because he is something that has been created, whereas the Heavenly Father is something that is. It has just existed it just is he is right that's his name right and, and that's what Yahweh Shai is essentially man you know he just isn't at the top of the hierarchy but you know uh Yahweh Shai uh, the Most High Yahweh put Yahweh Shai next to him okay as his son okay not above him or, or anything like that but you know that's the position that Yahweh Shai holds he sits on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father all right that's his son, right? The only, the only begotten of the Lord. Right? It says, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Yahweh Shai is the first thing to come into existence. Right? And was, was then utilized, was used, right, to, to build and create everything else that we that we see and things that we don't see. Um, you know? The angels, you know, Yahweh Shai then created the angels to help him with that work. Okay, our spirits, you know, that were there before the foundation of the earth, we, we was all created back then to help with that work that, that was that was given to him. All right? As it goes on to say, verse 16 here, it says, For by him all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, for him. By him and for him. This is all. This is, this is all about Yahweh Shai, man. You know, I know we're the Lord's people, you know, and the Lord loves Israel. But this is all me. The star of the show is Yahweh Shai, right? This is all about him. He, you know, he, he, the, the Father giving His Son glory, man. You know, and it's just like any parent, you know, wants to see their son do well, right? And and, and to glory in 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 the, in their in their in their children, in their, in their, you know, in their son, in his son, right? And that's what the Most High is doing for his son. Okay, giving him the platform, giving him the, the tools necessary to become great, to be great, to receive praise and to receive worship and honor and glory. You know, Yahweh Shai has been set up to receive these things. Okay. So yes, yeah, it says that all things were created by him and for him, right? And he is before all things and by him all things consist. Right? And in and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that all that in all things he might have the preeminence. Right? He might have the preeminence, right? And I wanted to look into that word, right? So I've got that up here in uh, the blue letter. You see Colossians 1 and 18 here, right? Um Strong's 4409. It says to be first, to hold the first place. He is above all creation. He is above all creation. And obviously, 
the Most High is exempt from that because he's not part of the creation. He <laughs> he he exists, right? But Yahweh Shai is part of the creation. He's the first created. He is the 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 head of all creation. The highest of all creation. The highest being that exists that has been created. Okay. It says to be first, hold the first place. He's at the top. Have the preeminence. To be first. Um, let's go into his root word here. What's this here? This word is Greek in it. It says pro, pro to you. I'm assuming that's how it's going to say it. Oops. Strong's G, 4409. Pro tuo. Pro tuo. Pro tuo, right? But the root word of that is protos. Right? It says contracted. Superlative of whatever that is. I'll have a look in a second. First in time, first in time, first or, or place, in order, right? In succession of things or persons, first in rank, influence, honor, chief, principle, first at the first, right? Influence and honor, right? And, and this is another thing, because obviously guys out here, you know, that look to get a name from themselves and, you know, get some kind of flatteries and honor and glory to themselves in this world, man. This is not your place to be trying to get your glory before the for the for Yahweh Shai gets his. You know, that's why you you guys are gonna end up being destroyed, man. You know, because this 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 truth that you, you that you, well, supposedly you're, this truth that you're a part of, man, you, it's, it's become about yourself, man, and, and and not the Lord, and not not this word. Right? It's coming about yourself, man, and that's why a lot of you you know you guys are gonna end up being destroyed in the end. Right, the first one's gonna get receive honor and glory is Yahweh Shai out of creation, out of the things that create. Okay, and I said all that, all that, all that glory and, uh, and honor goes back to the heavenly Father because Yahweh Shai represents the heavenly Father. You know, everything that everything that we do, everything that you see going on around us, man, it glorifies the heavenly Father, man. Okay, because it's His word that is spoken. Yahweh Shai is His word. Right? And it does the will of the Heavenly Father, man. And so it glorifies him. Okay. Uh, so said we're going to cut this word here. Pro. Preposition. Uh, before. Okay, that's what that word means. Above. <laughs> mm. Primary preposition for, i.e. in front of, prior, figuratively, superior. Superior to, above, a goal, before or ever. All right. But from there, let's go to John 1 and 1. And it reads here, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Right? Yahweh was, Shah was there from the beginning with the Lord. Okay, like to see Yahweh Shah was the first, first, you know, creature created. Right, and so, you know, they both set out to create this, you know, this existence that we live in. Okay, yeah, I wish I was given the task, given the, the, the blueprints, you know, given the mission to create everything that we see and don't see here. All right, says so the same was was in the beginning with with God. All things were made by Him. Yeah, I was shy. Right, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. That saying came for witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was, that was the true light, which light of every man that cometh into the world. And he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. All right? And he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, right, to, he, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, to to return, to take up the mantle once again. Because the Messiah obviously had, had, had turned his back upon us, man, because of our transgressions, right? But the the way back to the heavenly Father that the Messiah set up was through his son. So anybody that received his son was being adopted back, right, to become the sons of God once more. Okay, even to them that believe on his name, right? Again, the name being important. We have to know the name to be able to do this. 
Okay. So it's all about the belief in Yahweh Shai that is going to get us back to the Heavenly Father, man. Okay. Believing in, in the words that the Mosai spoke and the prophecies that he, he you know, he, he set up. Because it was set up for his, for his uh, son to come and, and deliver his people, man. It was set up for us to, you know, fall away from from our from our customs from from the Lord from the Most, Most High, right? That we that, so that we would need the Savior, so that His Son could get you know receive the glory. Okay, it was all set up to be that way, right? And this is from John chapter three, verse thirty-four. Uh, let's see, yeah, thirty-four it says for for he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God, for God give him not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son, and have given all things into his hand. Okay, that's what the Most High has done. He's given all things into Yahweh Shai's hand. Okay, he's got charge over all of this. Right? This is his inheritance. You know? And it, you know, it would work the same way in, 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 the, in the mortal realm here. Yeah? With uh, kings and princes, you know, and, you know, kings and their sons. You know, give them provinces, give them the things to rule over. You know, and that's all this is, man. But you know, creation was uh, was created with Yahweh Shai. It was for him. He created all of this for Yahweh Shai to 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 rule in. Yeah. So he that believe on the Son have everlasting life, and he that believe not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Right. So you see. You're offending the Lord by not honouring his son. You know, for not believing in his son. You're really offending the most high. Because we've been we've been told to 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 follow, to worship, to to glorify him. You know? It's John chapter 5, verse 23. And it says that, that all men should honor the son even as they honor the father. Right? And so the most high is worship, no? Of course. Right? We pray to what well, we have to pray for Yahweh to Yahweh Shai to, to you know have our prayers delivered to the Father. But you know, before we just pray to the Father, right? We worship the Father, we, we, we uh, make a tribute and you know um, you know sacrifices and stuff, right? And even though you know we ain't, we ain't gonna do all the, the the sacrifices for sin anymore and all that kind of stuff, right? Th these these things apply to the son as well. We show our, our veneration to to his son also, and that's why when we when we pray, we pray in, in the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Which means Yahweh in the name of his son. That's how we pray. Because I pray has a prayer has to go through Yahweh Shai to to you know get to the Father. Right, we have to honor both of them. That's what he's saying here. That's what Yahweh Shai is saying here. You have to honor both. You can't do one without the other. Right? So that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father which have sent me. So, like I said, you're really uh, displeasing the Lord. You're really offending the uh, offending the Most High by not showing the, the correct respect to to his son. And it's crazy that, you know, these guys that have, you know, kind of belittled or, you know, made made small the relevance of, of Yahweh Shai because how they had to speak about him, you know, and, and his lack of importance in, in a way. Like, how do you, how do you think, you know, <laughs> if, he was the, if he was the father of your son, you, you know, you and your son's just getting spoken down to, like, he ain't nobody, but you're a great king. Like, how do you think that's going to make, you know, the king feel? You think you're gonna you're gonna get favor from the king by by talking shit? You know, making small his son. You think that's how? You think that's gonna work work for you? <laughs> you know, no, of course it ain't, man. And and that's why people, you, you know, these these guys they gotta be careful how they talk, man, because hey, every idle word, right, to be made account of. Right? You, you don't understand that like, this isn't this isn't a game, man. That like, you should you should fear. They lack fear, man. They lack the fear of the Lord. You think you just talk shit about you know talk shit to his son or down, talk down to it, you know talk down his son? You don't think that's gonna work? You don't think the most it's gonna you don't think that's gonna piss off the most high? 
You don't think that's going to make the, the most I want to whoop your ass? <laughs> you know? Come on, man. That's not smart. <laughs> it's not smart at all, man. Like I said, you lack fear. Because you, you know, you, you're arrogant and prideful. You think you know what, you you know what the fuck you're doing, man. But you, 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 you lack humility, you lack respect, man. You know? And, and you, you emanate that through everything else you do in your fucking life. You know, these guys that, that you know, fell off or whatever, and they just dis disrespect their elders and, you know, all kinds of things, man. Just disrespectful fucking, you know, bastard children, man. Okay, that need to be corrected, right? And the Lord's going to do that correcting. Okay, when the judgment comes, right? So, yeah, I'm read that again. That all men should honour the Son, even as they honour the Father. That he that honoureth not the Son, right? If you don't honour the Son, okay, you don't put him in his, uh, you know, give him the right respect, Put him in his right position. Because he's he's the first, man. He's, he's above all of us, man. He's the, he, he is our creator. <laughs> he's part of, you know, he, he created us. You know? So you, you don't respect that, man. You don't respect the, the position that the Most High have given him. Okay, then, you, you know, so he that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which have sent me. You don't honor in the Father, man. It's a very, very, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believe on them that sent me have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. It says, um, for as the Father have life in himself, it's like, yeah, let me jump a bit, verse 25, verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they shall hear, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father have life in himself, so have he given to the Son to have life in himself. And they have given him authority. The Most High have given his Son authority. Right? To execute judgment also. Right? Because he is the Son of Man. Right? He is the Son of Man. He was set up for that. Right? It says, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which have sent me. Okay? How shall I do nothing but what, was, what he was sent to do? To fulfill the words and will of the Heavenly Father, man. And you got to respect the word of the Heavenly Father. You know? This is Matthew chapter 17, verse 5. It says, While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the clouds, which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Right? This is Most High speaking out of, out of the clouds, right? From the heavens. Okay, he's speaking to, is it Peter and... and uh, Who was it? Peter, James, right? Peter, James, and John. Okay. And so they heard the voice of the Heavenly Father say this. I'm going to read it again. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Right? And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. Right? Yahweh Shai is the one given to us to, to, to take orders from. Right? The Lord is not, the Most High is not directly dealing with us, man. And, and you, sh you should know this. We should know this by now, man, because we fucked up. How <laughs> we fucked up bad. Right? So, you know, it's like, you know, Most High said Yahweh Shai to manage, manage this people, man. You know, because the Most High is sick and tired of us, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, was, you know, hey, son, yeah, deal with this for me, man. I'm not fucking pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, deal, deal with them for me, you know? And that's what yeah, how should I come to do, man, you know? Come to deal with us, man, to manage us, to, you know, to, to, to set us right. Right? Beginning with the elect. Okay? This is Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. It says, uh, 
I'm starting from verse 11. And I, and I beheld and I heard a voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Same with a loud voice. Worthy is the Lamb, okay, who is Yahweh Shai, that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing, right? That's what he earned. He rightfully earned that, right? And so we're to honor and glorify him, right? To praise him, right? For his sacrifice, for, for, for his work, man. Okay? And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth, okay? So we're including, including this, right? And under the earth, and as such are as in the sea, and all that, that are there, so and all that are in them, Heard I, heard I saying, Blessing and honour and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth for ever and ever. Right? So these four and twenty elders, man, which are in the spiritual world, we, we're where the Most High is at. They, they bow down and worship, man. Right? Did the Most High get angry about that? Did Yahweh Shai say, don't do that? No, because it it, it's been given to him to have received these things. You know? And we here in the flesh, what? You think we're, we're an exception? That we don't have to do those things? Everything's been given to Yahweh Shai. Okay? All of creation bows and worships Yahweh Shai. And they get in his presence, man. They you better he it best be they bow. You know, he is the first, he is the head, he is the chief of creation. Right? He is the, the chief creature, man. Okay, and that's not saying that these 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 four these four and twenty elders they don't uh worship the heavenly father, of course they do. <laughs> you know, but they're also lower than Yahweh Shai, and so they bow. They bow and they worship. Um, Yahweh Shai, you know, Moses has made Yahweh Shai kind of like equal to him. Yahweh Shai says this, man. Um, uh, robbery, I think is the word. Not robbery. For it, not robbery. Yeah, here he is. Uh, Philippians chapter. Two. Uh, let's see. So in verse five, right? It says, "Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who, being in the in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, right? But made himself of no reputation, right? Why? Why he was down here in the flesh? He didn't. He trying. He didn't try to big that up, man. Like yeah, I'm the son of God." You know, I'm, 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 you know, the son of the heavenly father, man. I'm a great king. I'm a great, you know, this and that. He, he, that wasn't the time for that. He came in the flesh to be humble, man. Okay. He says, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. And was made in the likeness of men. Because this form is lower. This, this form that we're in, these chains of darkness, this flesh is a lower form. Right. That's why we're here on earth, man. Not in the heavens. Right, says, as being found in fashion as a, as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Because these are not things that he, he would have to worry about in the spiritual realm. Because then bodies don't die. And he doesn't have to suffer nothing. You know, so he, he, so he, can, he, so he is in his glory in the heavens. You know, with, with his power and all that kind of stuff. Sitting next to the heavenly father and, and you know, ruling and, 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 and enjoying whatever, right? But here is different. He's not. He, he didn't come here to be set up like that. You know, came from you know a, a relatively poor background and and things like this. You know, he wasn't exalted as a king. Even though people tried to try to, you know, but Yahushua wasn't having none of it, man, because it wasn't the time for that. And say so he came here to be humble, man, to show us the way. Okay. But you best believe in the heavens he's glorified, man. He's in his glory, man. These, these, these spirits, the angels, they worship him, they bow down to him. 
Okay, they show him respect because he's the son of the Heavenly Father. You know, they both get their respect, man. Respectfully, <laughs> you know, in their in their proper place. Oh, did I finish the second? Check back here. Okay. All right, so we're gonna close out with this one. It's Romans chapter 14, verse 9. Uh, yeah, it says, for, for, for to this end, Yahushua both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why, or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Yahushua. Yahushua is the one that's, you know, like I said, has been given into hand to, to bring judgment. So when the time comes, that's who we're going to go see. <laughs> That's who we're gonna go see, man. Who you know, is gonna tell us what's what's gonna go on with us, man. Right? Verse 11, for it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me. So no, there's no exceptions here. You're going to bow, you're going to worship, you're gonna be begging, begging for your lives and, and, and for mercy and, and all these all these things. Right? We already, we already pray, we already pray to him and what is so of course, right? Yahweh is going to receive his glory. He's going to receive his worship. But again, the Most High has set him up to receive such things. You know, to receive the things that he received, man. The, the Most High is, is giving his, him his giving giving him his son the same things. To receive worship, to receive praise and glory, to have power, to have dominion, rulership. You know. For it, is, for, it, for it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Okay? So let's say, how has been put in that position, man? And, and you know, those, those hard-headed Israelite groups out there or, or whatever, man. Yeah, you're going to find out, man. Yeah, because you're going to be begging when your house turns up, man, when he, you know, when he put you, you know, bring judgment against you, man, you be begging, man, for mercy. Okay, there's no way you ain't gonna bow down and and and, and worship Yahweh Shai. You know, but you want people to reverence you. And so I mean, this, this, you know, for for these guys, it's, it's, this, this thing's not about the truth no more. It's about themselves, man, and their fucking egos and their pride. You know, they want to be looked up to. They want to be, you know, oh, you know, oh, fucking. Captain this or priest that or high priest this, you know they want all these accolades from from all these people, but they don't want to get they don't want to give none to Yahweh Shai. You know, and you can't please the heavenly Father without you know honoring the Son. We've read that. You know, you think you're just gonna jump the queue. You know, like the Most High directly dealing with you, man. The Most High ain't directly dealing with you, with you man. Yeah, you, you better you better you better seat the sun first. Oh well, actually let me finish up on that. In Psalms 2 verse 12, it says um it says kiss the sun lest he be angry, right? You better you better you better give your house his proper dues, man. Right? Kiss the sun lest he be lest he be angry and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. All right. So you're not going to end it there. Uh, Lord willing, this has been edifying. And I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video. So until next time, I say shalom.